Good day, it is Stephen Davids here and in this video I will discuss the consumables and how to add them to Project Libre. Now what is consumables? Consumables are things that you use up that can only be used once and that are consumed in the production process or project. And depending on the nature of your project and the industry in which you are, uh, consumables can refer to materials such as paint, cement, computer parts, oil, uh, lots of things. And maybe in the services sector, it can, or some other sectors even, it can refer to food, coffee, drink, ink, paper, um, pens, uh, whatever you want to have. And then also it can refer to much bigger things such as flight and overnight stays. The essential thing is that uh, such as uh, flight tickets and overnight stays and everything else is uh, that uh, when consumables are, uh, you talk about consumables, it means at the end of the project there's nothing left over of that specific material or article. And you do not pay per hour for these items, but you use uh, pay for them if and when and how you use them. Uh, like a flight ticket, you have use it now, or you can stay overnight, or this uh, fuel that you use. Now, how do you add uh, consumables? You go to the uh, resources tab in Project Libre and then you go to the resources uh, sheet uh, icon. Uh, please uh, just take into uh, consideration that in the next slide onwards uh, the columns will be rearranged just to make it uh, and explain to you the resource breakdown structure in a more uh, logical way. And But on this slide the resource sheet appears as it is in Project Libre when you open the resource sheet. You add uh, your resources uh, and do the resource uh, breakdown structure uh, as a material resource. You do it as a material resource and uh, uh, and in this uh, material then I uh, organized it for you so you can see uh, uh, this is then uh, more the type of the RBS and the group material label but let me just explain it to you uh, then a uh, more logical in the next slide in this slide I then explain to you the resource breakdown structure you get your RBS and the RBS means then the main group of resources and in this uh, specific incidents I have uh, various main groups staff sustenance uh, support and then learning materials this is the RBS the resource breakdown structure and that's you put in the RBS column then you have a subgroup uh, and the RBS you can have subgroups flight ticket category a sustenance staff in this example take it from the top the staff sustenance second uh, subgroup is uh, flight tickets category B the third sub flight tickets category C is uh, for cost over 70 ROM you must uh, remember uh, when you look at these four columns here uh, uh, that Project Libre enables you to identify and describe your uh, resource in very great detail you may not want to use all of these uh, uh, columns but it depends on the nature of your project and it depends also on you and uh, the um, stakeholders involved and in what you want to measure then a uh, third column is uh, the material label and this is a further breakdown and a description of your of your uh, uh, resources uh, you could uh, 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 take for example <coughs> your sustenance you get a day and night, uh, nights and stays and overnight stays and then you uh, uh, label it days away nights away days and nights away 
it depends on you what you want uh, to put this label and to name it for. Then the fourth label is basically uh, the name column and in this name column, sometimes the name column, depending on the nature of your project, you can just repeat the material label or repeat uh, the uh, uh, group label. Uh, the fact of the matter is that when you open Project Libre, uh, you, they used to usually start with a name and then the RBS and the group and the material label, those are further uh, down the line in the sheet. But this is more uh, logical so that you can understand it as a beginner. And if you understand what is uh, at stake and what is meant, then you can complete uh, Project Libre's uh, uh, RBS sheet. Your third step is then to uh, determine the cost per use. Now you must please remember we do not live in an ideal world. Uh, you budgeting is is uh, never exact. If it's, uh, that would have been wonderful. But budgeting is about getting quotes, estimates, intelligent guesses, previous experience, sometimes, sometimes some suck and averages. So, uh, but now what do you do if uh, average is between $2 and uh, uh, $98, the average is $50 then, but but that is a great distortion. Uh, if you start now with having 20 d uh, tickets, for example, of $2 and one ticket of $98, your thing will just be be uh, the cost uh, the cost will just be distorted too much so if you have a problem where things uh, are being distorted too much because of averages and you want to get a uh, more uh, clearer and cut off uh, uh, cost then uh, I will uh, suggest that you use various categories uh, that item maybe you have category A flight tickets between 0 and $30 and, and you give an average to that because if you you can't in the cost column put uh, 0 between 0 and 30 you must put a, a, a number there and then put the number down there maybe $25 whatever Category B tickets, make it various categories, category B tickets, flight tickets between $30 and $70. To give it an average, maybe $35 and uh, category uh, C tickets over $70 and make it an average. As I said, I must stress you, you, you have the categories to prevent the distortion, but you must also put a price, a specific price. Then you must add the costs per use, and uh, when you add the costs per use, uh, it is there in that column that you use it at, at cost per use. You must use it as a cost per use, and that is then one unit that is a cost per use. You, you take the what is one ticket, flight ticket category A, it's $5,000. What does one category uh, flight B ticket cost? You, you 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 put the material cost per use as one unit one unit uh, uh, that it will cost you another way uh, to add the um, consumable material cost is then to use the resource information window uh, that you can uh, then use and here are the same categories uh, just uh, in a different uh, format uh, if you maybe work with one or two things but uh, the resource uh, sheet is I, I find it uh, much uh, easier and better because uh, you put once all your resources you think about all your resources and it's for me it works better maybe for but it's individual choice just remember uh, you must uh, tick the generic uh, uh, box because you you, you you use a category for example in this case a category flight ticket of uh, uh, category a uh, ticket you do not specify a ticket from between Washington and New York between uh, Cape Town and uh, Johannesburg these uh, is not uh, it's not the issue now the issue is you want to have a category you don't uh, pay a person a, a lecturer a teacher, a Juvan, uh, you pay maybe uh, 
uh, although it's now that is more uh, 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 a, a, a person thing uh, and not necessarily material but I just wanted to to, to, to show you it must be generic You're working with generic so click the generic box and then uh, you uh, complete also the cost per use that must be completed uh, the last step then is to uh, assign your resource to uh, the activity and uh, when you assign the resource uh, to the activity uh, you must uh, remember that you worked with one category you assigned uh, one unit so now you must specify how many units you 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 use uh, uh, that uh, you want to of the resource maybe you specified what will cost one day to go into a rental building here you must specify 10 days five days or six you specified I mean the you, you specify the resource and identify the resource and fill the RBS in you s take it for one flight ticket now how many tickets will you use on the strip 10 or 5 or 6 how many numbers uh, of wheels you will use 5 6 whatever so you must identify the units if you don't identify the units the uh, number of units the cost will not be correct Thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, please like and share uh, this uh, video. We do love constructive comments and criticism. And uh, please uh, subscribe.